Now, let us solve some simple examples of Nikolaum method by taking different bases. Initially, I will take the example of the base 10. Suppose, I do a very simple calculation which can be done oral that is 9 into 8 but we will try to solve this by Nikolaum method to understand. Now here, my base is 10. So, I have to subtract this train from each of the number. 9 minus 10 is minus 1 and 8 minus 10 is minus 2. So, again two parts. I will multiply minus 1 minus 2 that is 2 and subtract 8 minus 1 or 9 minus 2 that is 7. That's it. So, my answer is 72. Let's take another example. Now, pay attention to this example because we have some carryovers. I will take 7 into 4 Again, my base is 10 and my subtraction is 7 minus 10 is minus 3 and 4 minus 10 is uh, minus 6. Now, as a right hand side, I have multiplication 18 that is minus 3 into minus 6. And on the left hand side, I get 7 minus 6 or 4 minus 3, 1. But here, the number of digits on the right hand side are 2, but number of zeros in the base is only 1. So, to my right hand side, the number of digits should be only 1. So, I have to add this 1 to the left hand side. That is, my answer is now 1 plus 1, 2 and 8, 28. Let me explain this again. I have 1 and 1, 8. So, I will write this 18 as 1 and 8. So, this one will be added to the left hand side and my answer is 28. You have to study that example very carefully because the carryovers are to be adjusted like that. Now, take another example say 92 into 89. In this case, my base is 100. Now, I have to subtract 100 from 92 that is minus 8 and 100 from 89 that is minus 11. My right hand side is 8 into 11, 88 plus 88. And my left hand side is 89 minus 8, I'll do that is 81 and my answer is 8188. This is my final answer. Mind well, even though I have two digits on the right hand side, that is okay because I have two zeros in my base. Now, let us take one more example. Say 88 into 88. Here, again, the base is 100. Now, this is an example of square of 88. So, I have minus 12, minus 12. So, my multiplication is 144 to the right hand side. But now, I have three digits in answer to the right hand side and only two zeros in base. So, I'll write this like this, 144. Four. On the left hand side, I will do 88 minus 12, that is 76. Now, this one will be added to left hand side. So, my answer is 7744. So, 88 square is 7744. I'll take one more example of three digits multiplied by three digits. Say 988 into 899. Now my base is 1000. But the method is exactly similar. Subtract 1000 from 988. But now we can use the Nikhilim rule. That is, subtract all from 9 and last from 10. So I have 0, 1, 2. And here, 1, 0, 1. Both the answers are negative, of course. Mind well, I have written 0, 1 and 2 because I have three zeros in my base. Now, to the right hand side, I have to multiply it minus 12 into minus 101. So, this multiplication is 1, 2, 1, 2. And to my left hand side, I can do any of the subtraction crosswise. So, my left hand side is 887. Now, this one will be added to this 7. And my final answer is 8882. Eight,
two one two. That's it. This is my final answer. So instead of four steps, I got my answer in just one step. Now let us take one example where both the numbers in multiplication are greater than base. Say I will take fourteen and twelve. In this case, my base is equal to ten, and fourteen and twelve are both greater than base. So I'll write base ten. Rest of the method is simple and same. So fourteen minus ten is four. Twelve minus ten is two. So I got four into two eight, and fourteen plus two is sixteen. So my final answer is one sixty eight. Now let us take one example where both the numbers in multiplication are less than base. Say I am taking sixty eight multiplied by say seventy five. Now here my base is hundred and both the numbers are less than base. Here I have sixty eight minus hundred is I can use Nicolaus method. So I have three two of course minus and here minus. Two and five. Now, to my right hand side, I have to multiply thirty-two and twenty-five. Remember, we can use here crisscross method. So, by crisscross method, I have five into two is ten. I will write like this. Then, three into five fifteen plus two into two four. I have nineteen, and at last, three into two six. So, answer is zero. Ten. So I have to add two there. So my answer is eight hundred. I will write eight hundred in this fashion. Now, since in my base there are two zeros, I will write two digits to my right hand side, and this eight will be added. As the left hand side, I have sixty-eight minus twenty-five, forty-three, and my final answer is five one zero zero. Since these eight were added to three, so five one zero zero is my final answer. Let us now consider a typical example where our right hand side comes as negative. Let me take one simple example like twelve multiplied by nine. In this case, my base is ten. So here I get twelve minus ten two, and nine minus ten minus one. So now my right hand side becomes minus two. Now this is not my final right hand side. Because I have got negative, my left hand side is eleven. Now it is important to convert this minus two to plus. So I will subtract this minus two from base ten, and I get ten minus two is eight. So I write this eight to my right hand side. But where this ten comes from, I will take. This one to my right hand side, and my eleven becomes ten here, and this one goes to right hand side as ten. So ten minus two, I got eight, and now my final answer is one zero eight. This is a very important step because we always have to convert negative numbers to positive. Let us take another example where I get seventeen multiplied by six. In this case also, my base is ten, so I get. Seventeen minus ten seven, and six minus ten minus four. Now my right hand side is minus twenty eight. Again minus sign, and my left hand side becomes thirteen. Now mind well, I have only one zero, and two digits on the right hand side. I will write my left hand side equal to thirteen, and right hand side minus two and minus eight. Now. This minus two will be added to my left hand side, and left hand side becomes eleven, and I get minus eight to right hand side. Again, as in previous example, this one goes to right hand side as ten, so ten minus eight is two, and eleven minus one is ten, so I get ten on left hand side and two on right hand side, and my final answer is hundred and two. Now. Let us take one more example, slightly bigger. Say, one one five zero multiplied by nine hundred and eighty nine. Now, in this case, my base becomes one thousand. So I get here 
वन वन फाइव जीरो माइनस वन थाउजेंड दैट इज वन फिफ्टी एंड नेक्स्ट आई गेट माइनस माइंड वेल आई कैन यूज निकलम मेथड सो जीरो वन वन सो माई राइट हैंड साइड बीकम्स यू कैन डू दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाई क्रिस क्रॉस मेथड एंड वी गेट माइनस वन सिक्स फाइव जीरो एंड माई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बीकम्स वन वन थ्री नाइन नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस निगेटिव वन सिक्स फाइव जीरो As we have three zeros in base, I will write minus one here and three digits minus six fifty on the right hand side. So we have three zeros in base and three digits on the right hand side. Now this minus one will be subtracted from left hand side. So my left hand side becomes one one three eight and right hand side minus six fifty. Next, as before, I will take one out of the left hand side. So one one three seven and that one becomes one thousand here. So minus six fifty. So my left hand side is same one one three seven and right hand side three fifty. So my final answer becomes one one three seven three five zero. So I get my answer in two steps. Now I am not going to solve this example in very detail, but I will show you how in Vedic mathematics. we solve the examples let me take one very big example like 9975 multiplied by say 12500 traditionally to solve this example we require minimum 6 steps but here let me take my base as 1 and 4 zeros 0 0 0 0 so now as a first step I subtract the base and I get zero zero two five. This will be minus, and here I get two five zero zero. So my right hand side becomes six two five zero zero. Of course, minus again, and my left hand side is one two four seven five. Now this negative must be solved. So one two four six nine, and I get minus two five zero zero, as my minus six added to left hand side. Now again I'm taking one from left hand side to right hand side. So my answer is, so here I get subtraction seven five zero zero, and my final answer is one two four six eight seven five zero zero. So The example in just two steps.